It's Stilo, baby! Yo. I am out right now, and I'm just grabbing some food before I go skate. I wanted to start the skate and create off, kind of reminiscent of the first skate and create that I shot. It's on my channel, so if you want to go watch it, you should. Basically, I made my own wax because I quit my last job, and at my last job, we'd always put these candles out every day, and I decided to take home the used wax at the end of a few of my shifts because we would just throw it away, and it was just such a waste. Yeah, if you have been subscribed since the first one, I really appreciate you. And we're gonna get this started and just go home and make this wax. All right, so on the first skate crate, I found out what temperature to put it at to get it melted. And I don't even remember what temperature that is. So I'm just gonna start at 190. But I'm gonna go grab this wax and show you guys. Basically all this right here. See, it's pretty crusty. Planned. And there's just a lot of wax in them. Like I used to just wax curbs like this with them and there was a struggle. And so I decided to just get a bunch of them. And now I throw them in the oven and it actually waxes curbs really well. I feel like normal people have to rub brick their ledges and curbs, but I have not had to do that at all with the wax that I'm using. And I've heard people say not to use tea candle wax or whatever, like those little ones. And I just don't know if that's the same wax because it's not natural wax, it's definitely synthetic wax, but I don't know what type of synthetic wax, but we're just gonna call it the Stilo wax because it literally just makes anything slide. I realized I was starting to ramble, but basically all I was gonna say is, I am sad that I did quit my last job to start skating more at the end of the summer, and then I ended up finding a new job, but the only part that I really am sad about quitting last job for and missing is this is the free wax that I can potentially get. Overall, I'm not too upset about it, but if you haven't already, you should go watch the Quit My Job to Skate episodes that were like at the very beginning of the month. It was pretty funny, and some of them I feel like you'd get a good laugh on. First though is I have to grab all these wicks out of here, or like these metal pieces, and it's gonna take a little bit, so I'm just gonna time lapse it. now we got it all filled up if you were wondering what the orange stuff was at the bottom of the tin it was it was some candle wax from one of those like scentsy burner things that smell good i told my sister to dump it in here so next time i melt down wax i can have it all right so there it goes hopefully it'll be done in like 10 or 20 minutes and then if not i'm gonna be impatient one eternity later so it is fully melted down now this is the first time i'm having orange wax usually it's just all white but there's a little bit of orange wax at the bottom so that's pretty cool i'm gonna go throw it in the freezer and then after i throw it in the freezer it should be done so i'm gonna do one of those cool things like cool transitions where i go one two three i was gonna do the cool snap transition thing but i just think it actually kind of looks cool so you can tell I didn't do a good job of getting the wicks out though, so. It's a fun little memory. I'm gonna actually do the snap thing now. So in three, two, one. Look guys, it came out hella good. I'm excited too, cause it's orange. This is like the most satisfying part. Damn, I almost keep dropping my phone tonight. Oh, wait, is this still soft? I'm like, no way, it's still soft. Oh, wait, it is. Well, that was a fail, guys. We're going back in the freezer. I thought it was done because the edges. It's actually done this time. I'm pretty sure. Because I can see it, like, popping out. See, these Duke candles did have slightly water in them, but the cool part is, is it like drains out because the wax doesn't form with the water. So, yeah, that's the crusty part. That's the only thing that I don't like, but it gets used in the wax. So we got our wax brick now. Pretty stoked about it. Yeah, check it out. It's like huge. It's like the size of my head and it's super thick and 
This one actually smells good. All the other ones didn't smell good because they didn't have any scented wax in them. So I might start doing more stuff like this because I like the shape of these because you can just wax so much so quickly with the shape of this. And so, yeah, I'm gonna maybe try to start putting my logo on it just for fun or something like that. We got this, it's time to go skate. So when I go like, So, we did just pull up to a spot. We did not pull up to the spot that I was planning on pulling up to because I'm going to do that after I get warmed up. I just felt like I wanted to get warmed up somewhere else because it actually dried up. Still like wet puddles in some areas, but it dried up pretty well. And so, I kind of want to skate something besides the undercover, or undercover parking garage because I'm gonna be skating that a lot this winter. Since it is kind of nice out, there's a little ledge over there that's like a street, hella street ledge. It's like f***ed up metal, I can tell somebody's grinded it before. And then there's like a two or three stair over there. And so I'm just gonna have some fun outside of the parking garage because I know I'm gonna be skating there a lot this winter. So this is like spot number one. I've been wanting to skate this because it's like an ollie manual to a two stair. Try to get warmed up and see what happens. I'm gonna probably skate the two stair first and then maybe do some ollie manual very vari variations or try to at least oh snap somebody already waxed the ledge but somebody de-waxed it so oh wait never mind it's just because it's still wet so it looks all weird just gonna set a few tricks down this and then see how i feel i haven't skated all day Ollie felt okay, let's do the front 180. Nope, nope, never mind. I feel like I should redo that. <laughs> Oh. I know what it is. First it was the vest, now it's the sweatshirt. Watch, I'll land it first round. this time it's because i wasn't shooting at 60 frames per second now i know i'm gonna get it it's the same thing how it was the jacket and i landed it oh i hit the last stair i might have f***ed my board please i already chipped it so bad all right i gotta do it one more time Too. I love these wheels, honestly. And I guess we'll do the good old faithful kick flip because I got it down the big gap the other night. Oh, with 
somehow that was crazy. Alright. Kind of burnt out on this two star already. I get I need to learn more tricks. I should try full cab down it, but kinda wanna try moving on to something else. I do want to practice my grinds more. So I might go over to the parking lot finally. If not, I'm gonna go try to hit the sledge real quick and try to get a dope nose slide on the street spot. See, I told y'all, I need to work on my cardio, man. That whooped me. Like, that little sesh right there whooped me. And I guarantee if I look over the camera footage, that was only 15 minutes. And it whooped me, bro. Wait, wait, wait. I said I was gonna do the only manual, so I have to do the only manual. Oh. All right, I got that. I landed it, but I landed right into you guys. All right, I just pulled up to this five stair. I've been wanting to skate it for a long time and I didn't realize how cooked up a run up it has. And so I might send an Ollie, but other than that, I'm not doing anything else. You hear that? That's terrible. Let me just feel the pressure. No, I can't let the stairs hit the feet. Yeah, I can't give up. I know I got it. I feel like Jay Films. Pushing to the next spot, baby. There's my car. Already at the next spot though. Try to no slide this. Because it is wet. I don't like Two, so it's true. There's just this guy that keeps circling around on a bike and he said what's up to me. And I said hey, but then I didn't like reply back to him. And just kind of sketched out, so I'm probably gonna dip and I might go try to find another skate spot, but we'll see. Alright, so I am in this sketchy ass part of downtown Vancouver and I just was going up to a stair set and I was counting how many stairs it was. Sorry, my jazz music is going crazy because it was like the only thing saving me from the anxiety, but, but uh, oh, I 
I gotta turn off the flash on my phone too. But yeah, basically I'm just driving in downtown Vancouver and I'm just like looking for spots. And next thing you know, I just came across this big like seven eight stair. And I didn't know where I was or what I was doing. I just walked up to it and all of a sudden this guy popped out of the flashlight and like was like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, oh shit. I was like, oh I uh, I'm just looking I'm I'm just looking for skate spots. I was just wanted to skate the stairs. He's like, nope, not tonight, blah blah blah. And he's like and then he ended up being pretty chill once I explained to him what I was doing, but Oh, I wish I would have got that on vlog because that was pretty fucking hilarious. Like, I, I don't even know what to think because that scared the shit out of me. But there is some stairs over here. It's just that I think... Oh, wait. This is where you... This is the overflow jury parking lot. I'm probably going to get in trouble, bro. Like, I don't know what the I'm doing. I probably just need to go home. It's like 2.30 in the morning and I'm just looking for skate spots. And I know that this is probably not a good idea. I literally got... I went to jail over here one time, right? And it's starting to rain, so f this. I just need to go home. Alright guys, I just pulled up to work. That's the next day. I'm shooting the outro for the video right now because I didn't shoot one yesterday. And I'm kind of stressed because I get off work at 11 o'clock tonight. I don't have the vlog fully edited or done. And then I also work at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So I just don't know if I'm even going to be able to get this vlog up by midnight tonight. And then I also don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot a vlog tomorrow and get it up by midnight tomorrow. So I might have to do one of those talking segment vlogs. I'm just kind of like, I am starting to feel like the pressure of all of it because like this week is just the last messed up week I have because I just texted my boss and told him about how like I work at 5 a.m. tomorrow, but I get off at 11 p.m. tonight. So we're f hopefully going to get the scheduling thing all figured out and like this will be the last week I have to do this but last week or last week I had a break from it because it was my birthday but the week before like threw me off and because it was the first start of like it was the start of this daily vlogging all October and then now this week it's throwing me off again because I skated till late last night I was editing the video until just now before I left to work and I'm only like nine minutes in and I still have like there's still 28 minutes left of footage or like there's 28 minutes total of footage and I only have nine minutes that I'm keeping. So I still have to edit through 19 minutes of footage plus this outro and add in like the color grading and all that. And so I'm just a little stressed, but I think that I can make it happen. And I hope you guys understand if I don't end up getting a vlog uploaded like today before midnight. But if I do, I hope you guys watch it all the way through and maybe I shouldn't even be stressing this, but I'm just starting to feel like sick and stuff. I'm hoping I'm not getting sick and yeah, I gotta go to work though. So appreciate you guys. I'm gonna end it how I always do. Be safe, have fun, do what you love, skate and create. Bow.